Good afternoon. My name is Anderson, George Anderson. I'd like a room. Certainly, sir. Here's a form. Would you put your surname here and your first names here? And your age and your address here and here? And may I have your passport, please? Hello. Welcome to Britain. Good morning. Do you speak English? Yes. Good. Have you got a form? A form? Yes, a form, like this, sir. No, I haven't got one. Would you fill in this form, please, sir? Sorry, I can't write. Look. It doesn't matter. I'll fill it in for you. Thank you very much. Now, what's your surname? Williams. Thank you. I'll write your surname here. Williams. And your first names? James Robert. Your first names go there. James Robert. And you put Mr., Mrs., or Miss there, next to your name. Mr. Williams. Are you married? I'm married. My wife is with me. As she was with me. You're married. Now, your nationality, please. I'm American. I come from the United States. American. And what's your occupation? What's your job? I'm a businessman. Businessman. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Now, may I see your passport, please? I'm sorry. My wife has got my passport. Uh, she'll be here in a moment. Oh, that's all right. Would you wait there, please? Now, madam, would you fill in this form, please? Surname? Bailey. First names? Mary Susan. Single or married? Single. Your nationality, Miss Bailey? Irish. Occupation? Nurse. I work in a hospital. An ambulance is arriving at the accident department of a big hospital. It's the start of another busy day for the doctors and nurses here. The accident department is open 24 hours a day. Some patients come here for special appointments. Okay. Others want treatment for injuries like this woman who has cut her finger. The patients go to the reception clerk and give her their names and addresses. She tells them what to do and where to go, but sometimes they need to wait for a doctor or a nurse. Do we just go down to the classroom? Yes, actually, that's all you've got to do. Go straight down here and turn left and take a seat outside the classroom, okay? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I've brought this down just now, but the person that classes says it should be made 9 o'clock. I want to see Dr. Brown. My name is Blake. Ah, yes, Mr. Blake. May I have your first name, please? John. And your address and telephone number? 17. Ardmore Road. Telephone number? 603-5412. And your occupation? I'm an engineer. And your age, Mr. Blake? I'm 40. Thank you very much. Will you wait over there, please? Thank you. 
Some people go to the wrong department. They need help. Physiotherapy is in the next building up the road, the red brick building. And your address, please. 17 Aston Drive, Southampton. It's always busy in the mornings. There are lots of inquiries and telephone calls. Yeah. Mr. Leach, this morning? What do you mean just recently? A, G, and Eat up here, yeah. Tony. Tony, yeah. Just Tony. Just Tony. Yeah. Single move it. Uh, just uh, sort of like to get it checked over. Let me call my team. Let me be sure. Have your date of birth, please. It's uh, 1st of January, 1913. 1st. 1st of January, 19. 13. 13. Oh, it's not for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> the accident department at this hospital never closes. Any time of the day or night, there are always doctors and nurses ready to help people who are ill. Welcome to Mr. Luxembourg! <laughs> Mr. Luxembourg is 21 years old. His name I'm is... I'm not Mr. Luxembourg. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Excuse me. He isn't Mr. Luxembourg. I'm Mr. Scotland. <laughs> I'm from Scotland. Welcome to Mr. Scotland. <laughs> Mr. Scotland... Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, Mr. Scotland, can I have your name, please? Angus MacDonald. And where do you come from, Angus? I'm from Scotland. I'm Scottish. Yes, Angus, I know that. You're Scottish and you come from Scotland. But where in Scotland? Where do you live? What town do you live in? Ah, uh, I live in Edinburgh. Oh, thank you, Angus. And now, welcome to Mr. Grease. Just a moment. We're not ready. I'm sorry. Would you wait there, please? And now, welcome to Mr. Grease. Greece. I'm from Greece. Oh, yes, of course. You're Greek. Yes, I'm Greek. I live in Athens. My home is in Athens. I'm 28 years old and my name is Tavros Pavlovos. Would you say that again, please? I'm Greek. I live in Athens. My home is in Athens. I'm 28 years old. I'm not married. And my name is Stavros Papadopoulos. <laughs> you speak English very well, Stavros. I speak English and French and German and... and, and, and just a moment, not too fast, please. Would you speak slowly, please? Would you speak slowly, please? Now... Where do you come from? 
Where do you come from? Where are you from? I'm from Greece. I'm from Greece. I'm Greek. Where do you live? What town do you live in? What town do you live in? I live in Athens. My home is in Athens. I'm 28. I'm Greek. I come from Greece, and my name is Tavros Papadopoulos. <laughs> Tavros Papadopoulos. I come from the USA, Germany, Spain, the USA, Greece, Germany, Spain, the USA. What's your job, Stavros? I'm a businessman. I work in an office. Thank you. And you, Angus, what do you do? What's your job? Would you say that again, please? Would you say that again, please? What's your job? What's your job? I work in a bank. I work in a bank. I work for the Central Bank. I work for the Central Bank. I was a policeman, but now I work for the Central Bank. Do you like your job? Yes, I like my job very much. Do you like your job, Stavros? Oh no, I don't like it. Uh, I like holidays and parties and wine and drinking. Yes, food. thank you, thank you, thank you. In this program, we learned where do you come from? I'm from Greece. I'm Greek. What town do you live in? What's your job? I work for the Central Bank. Where have you been, Mabel? I was over there. Look, I filled our forms in. One for me and one for my husband. Now come along, James. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. Goodbye.